Hey guys, so here bringing you another video. Now, welcome to our League and Chill that on our trend at the moment that we are playing the champions that I'm interested in that have just received some changes. And obviously Varus just got, I dare call it a buff. A very, very small buff, but a buff nonetheless. And I thought we'd just give him a go and see what he's like. We also have not uh, used, I believe, Infernal. And I don't even think I've seen it. Um, and it looks pretty cool, actually. So yeah, we're against a Skana support, which uh, isn't really a thing. So hopefully we'll be fine. I'm sure at level six, like our combination, unless he uses flash and gets on top of me, there's no way he can get to me. So yeah. Um, do I want to take E or Q level one? Uh, Q gives me probably more damage. E gives me a slow. Hmm. I'm not going to use a spell on this, though. I'm just going to auto attack it. So I guess it doesn't matter. I'll wait till I get to lane phase. If the enemy team goes aggressive early, then I'll go E. Because that just slows the Skarna. And that's kind of how you make a Skarna useless. Is you just slow it. Let her go first. Okay. Alright, nice. They could be in this bush. But I doubt it. Because that you can see their top laner. Therefore, the enemy would have had to help kill the blue. So if I just maintain high auto attack pressure on the Skarna every now and then, I really, really don't see how he'll literally do anything in this lane. Kind of like the Shaco mid from last game, I guess some people just play things for fun, which, you know, that's fine. Get ready. No, Yona wasn't ready. Oh, that's a wide hitbox. Do, 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 do. I like Varus, by the way. I think his design's pretty cool. Like, you know, his abilities. They all kind of mesh together really well. And he just kind of makes sense. Which is always good. It's a sign of good champion design. Damn it. What level is this account? 20 something. But again, it's a level whatever 20 account. But MMR wise, because we always play with Twitch subs, it's very high. Like the enemy team's got mainly platinums. They've got a diamond mid laner. So in terms of actual quality of game, this is these normal games are a higher quality of most ranked games. So, yeah. Mm -hmm -hmm. That looks good. Don't know if they're getting the kill. Uh, they did. Sweet. Whoa, nice Sue. I'd like to be a bit more aggressive on these two. Down here. I don't like the Caitlyn being able to free farm. Oh, that was so close. Whoa, Lee Sin's 3-0. Don't want to use my W unless we're kind of going for an all-in kill, by the way. If for those are like, why aren't you using your W to poke with your Q more? Eh, I'd rather hold it. How much damage did that just deal? Like, not very much. So both teams are kind of like pretty standard apart from like, the only thing that kind of stands out is the Skarna. Everything else... Kind of blends in. Ugh. <laughs> That's how you get baited with heal. <laughs> Like, hold him in to, like, really, like, come on, come into the tower, get hit by one more thing. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Sweet, dude, that's so good. This Lee's playing great. Good timing. 
you know, we have a we get ganked two v three, and then you know we we actually trade because well, no, we actually come out of that completely on top because I killed the Hecarim, we didn't die, and then he comes for a return. Like that's so good. Wow, he's playing really well. So like, you like to see it, man. Again, I've said it for ages. Part of me playing League and like having fun. Dark Point might be dead. I think he's dead. <laughs> Part of me, I was literally, okay, what I'm about to say might sound a bit funny. I like to see really good play when I'm playing League. Uh, it actually brings me joy watching others do well, not just me playing well. So watching that Lee do all this stuff is, is great to see. Yeah, I'll take it. That Hecarim's desperate, dude. That's fine with me. He That, that was like frustration of, you killed me, I'm going to kill you and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we traded an AD carry getting a kill is never a bad thing. That is fine with me. So we're going to go the attack speed build. The Hecarim is trying to match the Lee. Uh, it kind of seems he's trying to match the Lee with the aggression. It's just not working out. And by the way, I nearly survived then because he thought I was dead and he nearly ran away. If he ran away, I survived. He would have died. So, yeah, that's okay. We got Galalio, by the way, who's, again, I think a very good pick into LeBlanc. Exhibit A. <laughs> I couldn't have planned that better even if I tried. Galio's good into LeBlanc. Galio killed LeBlanc. Ah, well, there you go, everybody. You can let this crash. Oh, well. E -e -e. Oh, I want to see these E's. Pretty sure we can just, like, kind of one-bang the Caitlyn. I got the slow. Alley up. Nice. Huzzy's happy. Huzzy happy. So yeah, the Skarner pick is not working out, as you can probably tell. You could say that it's just the jungle that's winning the game, which partially is definitely true. Um, but, uh, he hasn't offered the Caitlyn anything. There's no protection. There's no healing. There's nothing. He doesn't give anything. We didn't start the fire. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh my god, he's top playing. I get a blue? <gasps> Su support Scarn is a thing? No. That's the point. It's not a thing. I got a blue buff! Ooh. You couldn't even get to me, dude! <laughs> like I said, man, what the hell can he do? Oh my god. This is what, like, again, it's a normal game. We're leveling the account, but what rating is he? This Skarn is Platinum 4, which is, you know, well above average for League of Legends terms. But I will say he's played six games of Skarna, and he's got a 17% win rate. He's won one game and lost all the other ones. I'd probably also presume most of them are support games that he's trying to make work. Nice. To be okay, so one of the best things that is the Lee doing is that he's actually going to a great lane to gank. Uh, what I mean by that, Skarna is... Well, the enemy bot lane is very vulnerable. Mid lane's winning already by quite a fair sum. Top lane is even when, you know, you don't need to really stomp in top lane because, you know, the meta. Um, so bot lane is arguably the best lane to kind of snowball, and that's what Leeson's doing. It's great decision-making, uh, which is also... Yeah, the LeBlanc's diamond. By the way, Jeebus, who's obviously a long-term friend of mine and everything, Jeebus is gold, and he's crushing a diamond LeBlanc. Jeebus is probably a better better than a gold player if he actually wanted to play League. Uh, he doesn't play too much, but um, I think he's only played like 20 games of ranked or something this season. But yeah, he's probably better than a gold player. But yeah, he's crushing a Diamond LeBlanc. So you, that, that says a lot just about this matchup. Mm, I'd like to keep fighting them, but we are the Leona is Oom. Did he flash? 
Oh, Jesus. Really? I might just get run over here if Hecarim really wants the kill. He'll die for it, but... You're trolling. What? His shield came up? That's unfortunate timing. <laughs> His shield came up at the perfect timing. He might actually still be dead. Oh, assist! Oh, I didn't get an assist! What? No! How did I get an assist? Damn it. What I think is the hardest lane to climb? Um... Hmm. Probably... Probably AD carry, weirdly. In the current meta, anyway. AD carry is a really strong role, but in solo queue, it's actually really annoying to play. Because so many people just kind of forget about you and don't help you out. And it's like, oh, okay. Thoughts on early QSS versus Skana? I don't need it. I've made a mistake if he's gotten to me, so... E e e e e. Why did we go for the kill? What? Hello? Ah, top. Oh no, top lane's easy to climb with if you know what you're doing and you play the right champions. I'd actually say right now, like I stopped playing top out of frustration because of my play style. But if you play the right champions in top lane, it's possibly the easiest lane to climb in. Until a certain point. Maybe, yeah, I, I went for Bork active. It was on the wrong button. I pressed 2 because I normally have it on 2 and it was on 3 at the time. But yeah, no, top top lane, if you're an aggressive top laner and you're playing like Riven and stuff like that, really easy to climb with. But I just don't enjoy those type of champions. <laughs> Hello. Does he have flash? No. What are you doing? This is my blue. Mine. My blue. Thank you. We lived. Do, do, do. He flashed my R. Oh, is that what happened? He flashed over my R. Uh-oh. I thought they... Okay, they... My bad. They kept going. Oh, they went up. Wow, they went the whole way up. They scared. Come and get me, I'm alone. Juicy Varus. I'm al Oh, he gave it. Damn it, he gave it away. Never mind. He did anyway. We did it. Uh, so, if again, these episodes. Ooh. These episodes are trying to answer the question, you know, hey, this thing got buffed. Is it any good? Var Var Varus feels really strong. And we've only got one completed item so far, so... Is it because of the... Like, was Var the, the weird thing is sometimes a champion is actually strong, but people just don't notice. Varus could have always been strong the past few months, but he just hasn't really been played. And sometimes, like, little tinker tinks in the in the patch notes make people kind of think, oh, Varus, let's play him. And then you kind of go, oh, damn, he's really strong.
but the buff wasn't that this big. Like, it, it just feels good. Very nice damage. That happened to Karma. It happens to a lot of things. A lot of things randomly get to the meta when then they don't have a crazy change. Or hell, it happens sometimes they don't have any changes. Just randomly takes like... Sometimes it takes one high rating player to go, I'm going to play it a lot. And then other high rating players go, damn, this is really good. Yeah, I really don't care. <laughs> boom, boom. Oh, did I heal too late or was he dead anyway? Oh, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just going to say Jeebus was dead anyway because that made me feel better. God, I like Varus. He's cool. Damn, he's strong. Look at that damage! Look at that! Holy moly! That's so good! God, it's not bad, is it? It's not bad at all. Damn, dude. Varus does a lot of damage. And, you know, we are very fed this game. But again, the, the general premise when... I, I do find it funny sometimes... Uh, thank you much, Ranty Jackson. A, B, C. Um, a lot of people sometimes dismiss um, people who are like strong going, oh, they're, they're only doing that damage because they're fed. True, but you also, like, the, the answer to that that I've always found funny is like, how did they get fed though? Like, they had to get fed in order to do that much damage. Like, sometimes it's happening in games like, you know, when you had a toxic person in all chat. You know, oh, you suck, you're only doing well because you're fed. You're like, that makes no sense. <laughs> it's like, how did I get fed, genius? But yeah. Is Varus a spell casting AD carry? He has elements of it, but he still is very heavily auto attack based because of his passive. So he's kind of like, he's, I'd say Varus is middle ground between something like Caitlyn and Ezreal. He's like between both of them in a way. There's actually no point being mid lane, is there? And Varus is very good at killing tanks as well. So they have vision here. Hello. That no, guy's zero seven. Zero oh, again, diamond zero four isn't a hundred farm. Holy moly. It's crazy. Oh my boo. No. Mine. No. No. <laughs> you want again? Yeah, that's what you get. This is our area. What is going? It's nah. It's nah. Uh oh. What just happened? <laughs> okay, that was funny. Hecarim's coming. I gotta be careful. Oh, no, he's not. That was great. Still gonna be a bit careful of Hecarim, I guess. That champion can be 0 and 20 and still one shot an AD carry. That does damage that tier 2. Ouch. I'm gonna go back and then I'll get red. What do I want to do now? I'm just Phantom Dancer, I guess. But yeah, this seems. I, I'm liking this. 
again, we are. I do like playing AD carry, as people know. I'd play more Varus. He doesn't seem bad at all. Seems really good. What are good tank mage tank killers? Uh, mages that can kill tanks. Uh, generally anything that can buy uh, Leandries well enough. So stuff like Zerath isn't too bad. Um, Vladimir, I guess. Heimerdinger. Leandri champions. But yeah, Varus also very good at doing Baron because he, he's a Bork champion. Bork attack speed is also very good with Baron, obviously. That was like an 1,000 Q, by the way. Because Lee Sin didn't even have time to smite it. Yeah, Brand. Velkoz because true damage. Uh, so yeah. Anything that does percentage health damage. Rumble. If you want to count it. So I'm expecting Hecarim from like there. Easy guess. Son of a monkey butt. God damn it. I was too far up. My team might be fine without me. Now I might need a QSS. Lane phaser didn't need one. Now I might. Okay. Now that I've got the item. Oh! Oh! Imagine if he survived. Skarno was base stats. Yep. It was just a base stat buff. And there was actually, like, a couple nerfs in there, too. But, like, minuscule. Again, I think it's because, as I said, I think Varus has been strong this whole time. It's just that you see him in the patch notes, and then that makes you think about Varus. Oh, I'm going to play Varus. Um, and I think he's been strong the whole time. Because the buffs that he got isn't crazy buffs. He, you know, if he was strong now, he was strong before the buffs. So, Yeah. Do, 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 do. Right, we'll buy a QSS next. Do I think the Victor buffs are good? Hard to say without playing him or playing with one. It could be good or bad. It's kind of weird. Nice. So look at my attack speed. That's crazy. I'm crazy. Man, a fool. I just want to take this guy's blue buff. I got. Did I get it? I'm just gonna keep auto attacking. He had ult still? Wait, weren't they fighting? He fought that whole time and didn't use ultimate? What? He saved it for me. What? Are you serious? Alright, screw this guy. Give me this QSS. He was fighting for ages. And didn't use it. That sucks. <laughs> She's dead, but it looked funny. Wabu. There you go. Alright, screw you, Skarna. You're going to save it for me, like, after you've had a fight with other people. <sighs> God dang it. Ugh. <sighs> we did it. So we're, we're nearly full build. We just need to build this now. And then we're full build. I don't think there's anything else I would even change. No. I, again, no crit. 
attack speed build. So yeah, we'll legit be full build. No, oh, that was smart by Lee delaying. Got him. If I tried lethality, Varus, I've tried it. I think, well, it, it used to be like his meta build, obviously. I think nowadays the uh, attack speed build is obviously the far superior build. In terms of pretty much everything. Obviously, mainly damage output. God, the enemy team hates me. <laughs> Skarner and Hecarim this game are just like, kill the Varus. Ah -ha -ha! See what I mean? See what I mean? Every time, it's only for me. It's like, okay then. God dang. That's the real LeBlanc, isn't it? No, that's the fake. Yeah. This game is crazy. But yeah, no, Lethality it has its benefits, obviously the Q damage, but in a meta at the moment where you just need to auto-attack and tank kill a lot, um, Lethality holds nothing to attack speed. Ooh, that would be an amazing kill. God, Caitlyn in, in late game as well is actually pretty strong. Well, we know because we played Caitlyn recently. Uh-oh. Damn, she nearly killed both of them. Skana's above me. This is crazy. Yeah. At least he didn't... Oh, the, uh, we, need to, we need to work together as a team here. Like, we're kind of losing momentum. I'm trying to survive as best as I can here. It's quite difficult. My thoughts on Talon. You only see them if it's a one-trick, so that pretty much says everything. When you only see a champion because one-tricks, the champion's not very good. If you don't get to me, you don't win the game. Don't know if the move is actually continue here, by the way, because Caitlyn is alive. We'll see. We might be able to get one tower. Ooh, that missed. No. Probably should have just gone to a side. That, yeah, that nah. Did you see he jumped into ult and then he, he shrunk? It was the literal worst timing you could probably ever have. Varus has good initiation. Yep. I'd actually call it mainly a better better Ash ultimate, really. It's more consistent. Oh, I did die. Should have QSS the chain. My bad. That was a mistake. <laughs> what was that flash? Ah, oh, that's fine. I had a lot of gold on me. Yeah, it, it it's more consistent and it hits more targets because it can it can uh, spread. I I prefer it to Ash Ultimate. Ugh. Yeah, Talon's okay, but he, he, again, he falls for the same weaknesses that every assassin does. It's hard to play him in solo queue when you go up against a team that wants to group 24-7. You can't find a window a lot of the time. 
But that that's not a talent issue per se, that's like an assassin issue. We're full build, by the way. Full build at half an hour, that's pretty good. Alright, let's go, baby. We need to break more of their base, because we can't really end the game when there's only one wave pushing in. We need multiple. Shame there's no red buff. <laughs> this could be good. Oh, wow, he just completely obliterated the LeBlanc. Ah, oh, I got it. Oh, my God, it spread as well. That actually shocked me that that landed. I was like, what? 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 Cool. I legit thought I completely whiffed it. That's always a nice surprise when you're like, I didn't whiff it! Woo! Oh, lovely taunt by Jeebus. Really, really good. Caitlyn's annoying. Not as annoying as me. God, my attack speed is crazy. But there we go. Is Varus good? Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> His damage is nuts. When you're actually allowed to attack and like just go pew pew pew. It's really strong. Like that. Again, just to remind everybody, because I know there's something like, oh, it was a normal game and that. True. But the enemy team was filled of majority platinum players, a diamond LeBlanc. It's like, that. it's, it's not a low rating game by any means. So, yeah. That was, oh, I should have given it to the Lee. Oh, well. But yeah, like, damn, dude. That damage is crazy. So, we, oh, wow. We went 25, 4, 14, 247. We got an NS plus. And damage dealing. I don't do the most damage in the game. Holy moly, Caitlyn does. And again, that will be purely because of range difference. She's poking a lot more than I am because, like, her range advantage. Did she have an RFC, by the way? Uh, she. Oh, yeah. So she had an RFC. I didn't buy one. So her headshot plus, plus RFC. She's doing more poke damage than me. But, yeah, again, when, when Varus gets going, his damage is ridiculously high. But hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. That was a bunch of fun. Throw a like on the video if you did. Throw a uh, comment. What do you think of it? And uh, I'll see you guys next time. See you.